One night I experienced insomnia and as is usual during such times, numerous strange and not strange questions crossed my mind and one of them I decided to consider. In this video I will share how much money I spent for these two big bags of products that I purchased from Vietnamese supermarket for cooking healthy dishes and the prices for healthy dishes in restaurants. But before we get started I want to be honest. I struggle to live a strictly healthy lifestyle, especially when someone is enjoying a delicious food in front of me. So I'm just trying to keep a balance between healthy and tasty options. And for me, healthy eating means to avoid food like fast food and snacks like chips, different sweets, cakes and cookies that contain sugar, bread and other baked goods made from white flour and some other processed food like sausage. Avoiding or minimizing this kind of food is already success for me. And probably for somebody the food that I will show won't be enough healthy. Just don't take it too serious. I'm actually not fond of cooking, so my dishes will be simple. And this is the buying list. But let me check out what I already have to avoid buying extra. Alright, time for some quick mathematics. Most of the products I've bought at Lotto supermarket and some products like fruits and nuts at nearby shop. So altogether I spent about 940,000 don. Now let's see how long it can last for me and my boyfriend and then we will eat the same number of days at restaurant and compare total price. <laughs> By the way, in Russia, when I was a child, there was popular one myth. If you eat a lot of cabbage, your boobs will be bigger. And I really believed in that. As we don't have an oven in our rented apartment, everything I cooked was braised on the stove. For the first day, it was just a simple omelette for breakfast and for lunch and dinner were fish with cabbage, served with brown rice and tuna salad. The next day we had pancakes made with oatmeal, eggs and milk for breakfast. For lunch and dinner I prepared beef with carrots served with brown rice that I cooked yesterday, because I made it a little too much. Well, not to throw it, right? And simple green salad. The third day started with an omelette for breakfast and a simple light soup for lunch and dinner. And also for dinner I used the ingredients that I had left and prepared a green salad with chicken breast. And also for lunch and the following morning of the fourth day I cooked oatmeal cookies with eggs and mango. 
And for the lunch and dinner was chicken breast wrapped in cabbage. And for the last morning it was oatmeal with fruit and nuts. And these products lasted us for 4 days and the morning of the 5th day. Now let's compare these to the cost of eating healthy at a restaurant for the same number of days. The first morning started with Russian dessert called Sirniki, made with the main ingredients being quark cheese. We paid for it 140,000 dons for two people. Since the Sirniki were quite filling, we had lunch or dinner just by the evening. I ordered a juice with ingredients such as beetroot and carrots. I can't say I liked it, but it was interesting to try. And for the meal, we had salmon, fish and vegetables. That cost 10.6 dollars for two people. The next day was more healthy and started with a simple toast with avocado for my boyfriend and for me is granola bowl. For the lunch we ordered a poke bowl online. It includes black rice along with various vegetables and fruits. It was a very delicious and healthy meal at the same time. And wrap up our day by ordering a light Vietnamese salad online, featuring green mango and shrimps. On the third day for breakfast we had a fried eggs and a simple green salad. I can't say it was totally healthy meal as there were too much sauce added. For lunch I ordered my favorite Vietnamese dish called Ho. It's a simple light soup with meat and rice noodles. My boyfriend took a break from my healthy challenge and ordered a Russian salad called Olivia. I can't call it totally healthy because it contains mayonnaise and sausage. For dinner we ordered Vietnamese spring rolls with shrimp and green mango for delivery. The next day started with a lunch as we woke up a little late. Financial literacy. The more you sleep, the less you spend. For me, it was salad with chicken breast and creamy carrot soup. My boyfriend ordered for a more filling dish, like rice with pork and vegetables. And for dinner, light pea soup and Russian salad called vinaigrette. The prices for set, which also includes juice and bread. I had dumplings and tofu in Korean restaurant. And finally, in the last morning for breakfast we had a toast with avocado and fried eggs. In conclusion, for 4 days and 5th morning we spent 940,000 don on cooking. In the total cost of eating at restaurants, I didn't include beverages and delivery prices. I only compared the cost of food. So for the same number of days, eating at restaurants cost 1.5 million don for two people. Obviously the price for eating at restaurants is higher. But sometimes it can be equal, depends on what you are cooking and what kind of products you buy and how long it can last for you. If you make it this far, a huge thanks for watching, I wish a good health for you and hope to see you in the next video. Bye!